r slash ask me anything by redmond ets i'm 25 male with a micro penis ask me anything pretty average guy except below the belt which is two and a half inches erect anyone have any questions edit thanks everyone for the questions and the kindness it was surprisingly therapeutic just talking about this stuff the questions seem to have stopped for now but feel free to leave a comment if you're still curious how difficult has this made dating? How do you find condoms? I hooked up with a guy who had a similar condition and ultimately had a terrible time. Not due to his size but overall selfishness. I did learn however that they make custom size condoms. It makes dating incredibly hard. I've been on many great dates that lose interest immediately when I mention or show my size. I try to date and get shot down so I stay off for a while. I build up some confidence and try again but it has always ended the same so far. I haven't actually ever worn a condom. I've never had sex other than oral a couple times when I was a teen. Why would you mention it before engaging in sex? Seems like you are shooting yourself in the foot. Once you are in the heat of the moment she is much more likely to say screw it and roll with it even if it isn't ideal. I guess I would feel like I'm deceiving them a bit kind of tricking them into having sex with me. Or if they find out in the moment and react negatively, that hurts way more than them just shooting me down beforehand haha. <laughs> I was with a guy that the same. He was upfront and honest. It was nice in my opinion. He was talented with his hand and tongue. Is that something you do to make up for your size? I would like to but I haven't had the chance. Everything I've done was with a girl at 19 and we only fooled around 4 or 5 times. Hard to get practice in when I can't get that far haha. <laughs> Does it affect your self esteem? Every day unfortunately. Sex is such a huge part of media, advertising, people's personal lives, it's just so hard to avoid hearing about it. Social media and entertainment always puts small men as the butt of the joke and it sucks to be the person they're talking about. Whenever I'm interested in someone I always have to approach it knowing they might lose interest because of my size and it's incredibly hard to cope with that. I haven't had any luck in dating since I was 19. Do you know the sizes of other males in your family? Anything similar? What has your doctor said? Are there options to help? I don't know the size of my family but I know practically all my friends sizes. I've been to a doctor several years ago that said hormones might help but I never went through with it. I felt so ashamed about talking about my size that I haven't returned since. I might pay him a visit sometime though, the years just seem to pass so fast haha. <laughs> Didn't realize I haven't been there in so long until I read this. I obviously don't know you, but posting this AMA seems like a healthy step for you. The doctor isn't going to judge you. They have seen more micro penises than just yours, more than likely. Does it get tiring hearing people online talk about how size doesn't matter, and you just don't know how to eat someone outright, when it has clearly affected your love life? When I hear those words it just sounds like people completely discrediting the actual esteem struggles of those with micro penis. It gets very tiring when it's said in an annoyed way which is how a lot of people tend to phrase these things. I've lurked threads like that for a long time and still people don't seem to understand what it's like. Something that bothers me is smaller men are always told to get good at oral so they're a better lover than average men that are selfish in bed. Nobody seems to talk about average sized men who are good at oral in this conversation because nobody would ever pick them over the average. It's a sad realization knowing I'll never be the desirable option against someone with similar skills but bigger size. I don't necessarily blame them for not understanding. I don't imagine a lot of people have personal experience with someone with such a rare condition. But being very small myself, I've experienced the sudden drop of a woman's smile or dramatic shift in mood when I mention my size several times. If oral was all that mattered, why is all interest killed when they learn I'm small? It's frustrating because it seems like whenever someone small complains about their size they're met with annoyed responses that invalidate their feelings. Bro you can get hormone therapy in double that size. No jokes. Go speak to a doctor. I've read a bit about this but have heard mixed results, particularly at my age. I might do so if worse comes to worse though. 
No offense but worse comes to worse for you is literally your dong falling off lol. I don't see why you wouldn't try this. I meant I'm not entirely giving up on dating yet. If I find someone that loves me for me sometime soon I might not even feel the need to get any sort of treatment. If I get rejected some more because of my size then maybe I'll go that route though. I don't know how effective such a thing might be, but I would recommend pursuing that treatment sooner rather than later. Older bodies are significantly less responsive to this kind of thing I imagine. Do it before you get older I say. When did you realize it was different? Later than most I think, probably my senior year of high school. I didn't care much for sex or school, I just wanted to play video games. I ended up being a bit of a social outcast and generally unaware of what was going on in other people's lives because of that. I watched videos but I knew that they were definitely on the larger side, though I thought everyone else was around my size. I made some friends later in high school who told me about their sexual experiences and realized I wasn't average like I thought I was ha ha. But how did you find out from their stories that you weren't average? One time in particular I remember hanging out with some friends when they were talking about sex. One girl said she needed two hands to grip her boyfriend's shaft. Another girl said the same. They talked about exes and their sizes too. Some of the guys shared their sizes and everyone was bigger than I was. I remember feeling really alone in that moment. Like I'm the only one that couldn't relate at all. People became really comfortable talking to me about sex because I never judged them so I heard a lot of stories later too. Only ever heard of one other guy of a similar size as me and they made fun of him. Said he was small and such. How big are your friends? Do they know how big you are? They fall in the 5 to 7 range. The only other guy around my size sort of fell out with us for unrelated reasons so it's just me now. I've mentioned that I'm small before but I don't think they know I'm this small. It's something I used to comfortably joke about quite a bit so they probably think I'm just a bit smaller than average. Congratulations on the penis. You can always get a deep throat BJ and anal won't hurt your partner. You are truly blessed. I wouldn't consider that much of a deep throat but I get ya. Women won't care when you are in a relationship, so don't let it get your confidence down. When dating, most only finish with oral anyways. Sometimes a micro pen has tons more to do with body fat in that area than actual length. How you doing BMI wise? I'm doing fine. Pretty average guy. It's always been small as long as I can remember though when I was a little heavier I remember it being marginally smaller. No significant change in size though. I'll vouch for this. I was 137 kilograms and currently I am 120 kilograms. Have gained about 1 inch mayo. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.